This is News Always On. 223,000 jobs were created last month alone. The Labor Department says that pushes the unemployment rate down to 3.8%. That's the lowest in 18 years. Job creation was seen in nearly all industries, including manufacturing, construction, travel and tourism, and retail trade. According to an NPR report, the May increase in payrolls was stronger than economists had expected and topped April's revised 159,000 increase. Notably, the unemployment rate for African Americans fell sharply to 5.9% in May, from a 6.6% a month earlier. About an hour ahead of the release, President Trump hinted a strong report on Twitter, saying he's looking forward to see the unemployment numbers at 8.30 this morning. The former economic advisor to President Barack Obama, Austin Goldsby, said on CNBC that the president has access to the report before it is released at 8.30 a.m., but never talks about it publicly in advance because it could influence the financial markets. The unemployment rate is so low, it has only hit this level a few times in modern history. The last time was in the heat of the dot-com bubble in 2000. But before that, you have to go back in the late 1960s to find a time the unemployment rate was lower. However, to many Americans, the economy still feels pretty meh because they are not getting that much more money in their pocket. Wages in May were up 2.7% from a year ago, roughly in line with gains seen in recent months. The reason might be due to the fact that many businesses say they're having trouble finding qualified workers to hire. And economists say at some point, that has to start pushing up wages as businesses are forced to offer more money to hire the people they need. The National Federation of Independent Businesses released a report this week showing that the number of small companies giving raises to workers is at its highest level since year 1986, with 35% of small business owners say they are paying their employees more. Average hourly earnings also went up $0.08 in May to $26.92. Stay tuned for more updates.